So yesterday I got a quote for powder coating for the Porsche Cayenne wheels. And honestly, it was just a bit too much. It came out to be about $540, but for daily wheels, that's just, it's just a bit too much. So yesterday, after the video ended, I went to the store, picked out a color, and I think this is gonna look amazing on these wheels. Super nice metallic gunmetal. That on there is gonna be killer. And plus, I have a set of these center caps coming. The really nice gel ones, so I'll paint match this outside. But that in the center, plus this nice dark charcoal gray, is gonna look so good. We've got a tiny bit of light coming through, but this color combination is gonna be so good. The nice charcoal gray with the light silver is gonna be good. So we're heading to the store real quick to grab primer, uh, clear coat, and JB Weld, and we'll start on the wheels. All right, so we have a JB Weld to fix the scratch on the face. We have some filler primer after that, and then I went with this. Now, normally I would go with the Rust-Oleum acrylic enamel. The gloss clear which works really good, um, but they didn't have any of that, so I'm gonna try this. I've been told it works really well, so we'll see. So looking at the wheels, this one, that one, and that one are pretty much all in perfect shape. There's small little spots like that and like this, but these ones just require a quick sand and no real filler, where this one has a bit of the deeper scratches right here and then on this section right here. So this is one we'll have to go through, sand down, fill just a little bit, but then it should be good to go. I also got this one here and then also this one. They're both 180 grit, but I wanted to get something like this, but to get inside these tight cracks through here and then all these spots down through here. You can do it by hand, but it gets tiring. First wheel is just about done. I have a few more spots to go through. I have these like tight corners through here, but all this section is nice and smooth. All the clear is gone. Not bad. All right, so this one here is completely done and good to go. Now moving on to the more challenging one. I'm gonna do the same thing, sand everything down. Then we'll come back with a JB Weld, fill in the deep creases here, let it harden, sand it smooth again, and make sure the, uh, the shape matches the uh, original face. And we should be good to go. All right, so these two here are pretty much all the way done. I still have two more to do, but I have to go home real fast, grab the battery charger. I burnt through three batteries already just doing these two. Now, this one here is pretty much done and good to go. This was the bad one that had all the curb rash, but just about all that came out on this spoke and also on this one. Now, I could just go through and spray right over this, and you'd see it a little bit, but it wouldn't be that bad. But I do want to try and make it perfect. So before I go, JB Weld gonna smooth it over this section and over this section then come back once it's dry and then sand it smooth and make it match this just to try and make it as perfect as possible we've got our jb weld here it's funny this one says made in usa but it's all in german it's this side out our little mixing stick and then the other side I'm just gonna mix it on this because it's plastic, it won't soak in like that. We only have a small spot to do, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one. You wanna mix it together until it's a nice uniform color and then spread it over the spot evenly. Go home, let it dry, we get back. We'll do some sanding. Take a little bit of this one. And then a little bit of this. Pretty much just an even amount. And then we'll go through. And we're gonna mix until it's a nice uniform color. First, once it turns gray. You can see it changing there. All right, let's see if I can't do this uh, properly here. It'd be easier with a nice like spatula, but I don't have one of those, so. Get a little bit of here. Fill in this one up here. I'm just gonna go down this entire line through here. Try to make it all one, one level. Then we'll come back and sand it all back smooth. But when we're done, all the deep grooves that we had there will be gone. And then we'll do this spot over here as well. This one's not near as deep, but I wanna make it as perfect as possible. All right, so this wheel is now done. You can see all the spots we went through and touched up with the JB Weld. Also did one spot on this one as well. So now while this is drying, I'm gonna run home, grab my charger, then we'll come back and do some sanding. All right, batteries have been charged. I had some food. The sun is out. We got blue skies. Let's finish these wheels. So 
at this point, three of the four wheels are completely done, ready to be sprayed. This is my last one. The JB Weld is all nice and dry, so I'm gonna go through, sand it, mold it back to how it should be, and then we can start spraying. I'm not gonna lie, this actually came out way better than I thought. Like, look how smooth that came out. All of this was all gouged in, and now it matches this side, and same was over here. And then the little outer spots there, there, one right there, but everything is nice and smooth, nice and smooth, not bad. Once you paint it, you'll never even know it was there. That came out so good. All right, boys, it is finally time to get a good final look. All of our damage is fixed, everything's been sanded down, smooth and clean. We're ready to go. So if you've been on the channel for a long time, you know I have spray painted a ton of wheels. But let me be the first to say, God dang, these things came out so good. Look at that shine. Woo, buddy. Yo, when I say rust is my favorite and this lacquer stuff, no joke. The shine is crazy. This is only two coats in. I'm going to do a third one after this. But my goodness, look at this thing. Ooh, buddy. And this is the wheel that had all the damage on it. You cannot even tell. They all look brand new. This color with the silver of the wagon and my nice uh, painted cap. Oh my goodness. They just look so good. Okay, third and final layer of clears now on. Dude, they just came out so incredibly good. That lacquer clear is no joke. So, so good. So now I'm gonna let them dry for about 20 minutes and we'll load them up and take them home. But man, <laughs> these things came out so good. And you can't even tell this one ever had any damage on it. Looks brand new. So this was our damage before. You can see how deep those were. And this is that spoke now. And then the next one, that was our damage before. And that's the spoke now. Oh yeah. Reflex silver and the dark gray. That's like so good together. Loaded up and all good to go. Man, I just love this color so much. Also, peep the LED. And also up here in the front. Bam, and wait for it, wait for it. And in the back. Ooh, look at that. I found a set in a Mark IV today, so swapped out for mine. No more uh, ugly ambers. So at this point, all we're waiting for is tires and center caps, which the center caps ordered this morning. Those should be here either tomorrow or Monday, I would say. And then I found a guy selling a set of 205 4018s who's not too far away. Already messaged him, just waiting for a reply. Go snag those, put the new setup on the car. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.